guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm unpackaging some Goal Zero products. Um, I picked these products because they fit my lifestyle a lot. Um, once I have a rig, an off-road rig, I'm gonna set it up with Goal Zero, all of their larger products. So this power bank solar panel, it's the Nomad 5 Guide 12. So it has a little battery pack that comes with it. This is an awesome setup, it's under hundred bucks. Like this is an all-in-one like for what you need to charge your phone, your laptop, like cameras, any basic gears like flashlights, things like that. And then this is just another little power pack. So this is the Venture 35. They're waterproof. Um, th this is just awesome. This is a good one to have. So if you're backpacking, canyoneering, you can get this wet. Um, I like this panel because it has the little clips for carabiners or little tethers you can put on it. So I'm gonna unpack this real quick for you guys and yeah dive into it so the thing that I like about goal zero is like they have an awesome mission as a company they do a lot of really great nonprofit ventures they're always helping people so this little kit that's awesome yeah they're it's just awesome gear it's consciously made gear um, so this little battery pack. So I'm gonna charge these up. I'm gonna put this in the sun once I have these unpacked. That's waterproof so I can set it in there. It has a little charging cable adapter and then a little user guide if you need that. It is smart to read these, just like flip through it and get a good feel for the products. I mean, a lot of people, if you're similar to me, I don't, I don't always read these. Um, just because a lot of it's common sense. But when you're utilizing um, tech gear that's like, it's important you know how to use it properly. You want to know how to charge them properly and how to drain them properly so that they last a really long time. So it's important to at least get a rough idea, you know, read the little book. It doesn't take that long. Uh, dive into speed reading. Speed reading is an excellent way that you can absorb a lot of information quickly. And let's see what this one is. I'm so excited to use these. So excited. Because I don't like I don't like having to find an outlet to charge my phone or the cameras. Oh yeah, buddy, this is gonna be so fun. I am really excited to get some of their larger products, their panel setups for if you're living off grid or if you're living just kind of the way that I live. I'm camping a lot, I'm exploring a lot, and I'm not at my home base. So this is Goal Zero Nomad 5 panel. Check that out. You got your little battery pack it comes with, all the gear adapters. But let's take a look at this real quick. So pretty sweet, awesome design, really nice. You have these little spots here, these points where you can connect a carabiner or you can do like paracord. I like using paracord a lot. Um, I'll show you some of my paracord setups, but then it has little, yeah, dude, this is sweet. That's cool. So this is flexible. Um, you're charging where you connect to the battery pack. So that's flexible, that's a cool design. But it can just post up. Obviously, if you don't know how to use solar panels, sorry, that was out of the video. If you don't know how to use solar panels, you wanna set it up to capture sunlight, like the best amount of sunlight. So if you're charging it for hours and hours, obviously you're gonna to have to move it throughout the day um, to capture optimal lighting, optimal amount of sunlight. So really cool, I'm gonna set these up and I'll do a time lapse to show you just how long it takes to charge this one that it comes with and then I'm also gonna charge that one as well. So this is the Guide 12 pack that it comes with and then this is the Venture 35 pack. Pretty rad, awesome gear, awesome company and I am going to be using their products a lot because they're really good products. They last a long time, it's a good company I believe in supporting companies that have good core values and just like a good mission statement. You know, that stuff's important. Like fund companies that are doing good work in the world. So I'll set this up and you guys can enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right, 
I'm gonna show you how to set this up really quick. Just so you're not trying to figure it out. You're watching this video for a reason, right? So you have the panel, you want it in the sunlight. I'm in the snow, obviously. Um, so you have the panel, you want it positioned to the sunlight. This, where you plug it in here, and then right here on the back, you have your output and you have your input. You always wanna make sure you get those right, otherwise it's not gonna charge. So I'll just set this here for a minute while I get this set up. So important to check out your gear as you're going through. You don't wanna jump into it like, yeah, you wanna charge your stuff, you wanna get rolling. But in order to do it, you gotta pull this out. So I'm gonna pull that out, but I will just show you when it says, please read, like it says that for a reason. <laughs> Most likely, right? Yeah. So this is the little cable that's gonna go in the back, USB, and then USB-C. So we're just gonna pull this out and just read this little, little section real quick. I'll read this to you in case you don't like reading. So please read before first use, guide 12. That's this unit. Guide 12, ensure batteries are correctly oriented. See the diagram. So negatives up high, positives aiming down. If you don't know what that is, um, there you go. Positives, negatives, you know, male, female. Um, ensure the batteries are correctly oriented. See diagram. Use only rechargeable nickel, nickel metal hydride, NIMH batteries. Never use with less than four batteries. So don't put three in there, two, one, use all four, pack it up. Batteries need not all be at same charge level when inserted. So that means like some can be fully charged, others can be fully drained, it's all good. Um, it won't mess them up. It is normal for unit to get hot during operation. When solar charging, if possible, place unit in shade or behind solar panel. And then it has contact Goal Zero directly with any problems, questions, or comments has their info there, the website, goalzero.com, and a 1-800 number. So what that means is it gets hot. The sun is hot, right? You get sunburned when you're in the sun too long. So this is made to endure heat, to endure the sunlight, capture the sunlight, and transfer that into electricity, into the battery. So have the battery pack behind this unit. So we read that, good job. We read a piece of paper good readings good so we need to pull this out boom make sure these are all positioned properly so what that means see here positive is on the bottom negative is on the top so batteries have a positive negative you should know this if you don't it's okay we learn new things every day put these in here bada boom bada bing and it's kind of cold. It's a little cold out here. I mean, it is snowy, so. See, just like that. Got those rocking and rolling. Boom. What's cool about this, it has this little metal thing. You can do a carabiner right there, paracord, whatever. Um, and then this does have the battery check light on the bottom. And then it has your input and your output. So when we're plugging this in, input, when you're giving advice, doing things, input. So output, obviously when you're taking energy from this, that's your output. So we are charging this. So I'm gonna put input here. And then the back of this panel is this. So I'm gonna plug that in. Make sure it's dry if you're in the snow. And now we are set up to charge this puppy. So there you go, ready to go. I'm gonna set this here and position it in the sun. We do have a little shade here. And then because this is in the snow, I'm just gonna clear this off so this doesn't get wet. Actually, I'll just do this. Clear this whole thing off. Oh yeah, nice and freezing cold. Okay guys, here we go. 
I probably should have done that to begin with, but it's all good. So there's that. That. And it's cool, you can position this however you need to. Pretty awesome. So I'll put this on this side. So what they're saying is this, you don't want this to get too hot. So you can place that behind here, like that. And then I'm gonna do a time-lapse and see how long it takes to charge this puppy. And it's already charging. There's a little light indicator on it. Very cool. And the sun is gonna pass those trees, so I'm good. It has a little shade right here, but I wanna do it right here. So it's perfect. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna charge this and then after the time lapse, I'll see how long that took. Um, it should take about two hours to charge this, possibly. Maybe not. Okay, see you guys later. All right, guys. So, what's really cool about this battery pack, the Venture 35, is it's waterproof, shock resistant proof, like you can drop it, it's not gonna damage it. That has the battery pack, it's uh, lithium ion. So the batteries are in here, like they're not gonna come out. You don't pull them out like the Guide 12. And what's cool about this one, so it has this little rubber piece to ensure that it stays waterproof. And then it has the readings of what each thing is. So five volt 3A, five volt 3A, so USB ports, and then 18 watt in and out. So charging it or charging devices, you use the same show you right here use the same port in and out so see all of the readings are right there on this little rubber piece and then as you pull it out you can charge it really awesome really cool device um durable i'm going to be using this one a lot and what's really cool also is if you hold it down so this one out of the box it has battery life um, it has out of four four readings light readings on here three of them are full so that means it's almost fully charged but it does say to fully charge it um i was just reading the little manual on it to turn on this flashlight it's cool it has a flashlight you just hold down the on button until it comes on see and then hold down the on button and it will turn it off so after this one's charged i'm going to charge this one here and i'll just show you how to hook it up Put it in the USB-C port, and then this plugs in the back there. So pretty rad. And this one is waterproof, so I can just set this in the snow if I want to. So just put this right here. Boom. Actually, put it right there. Pretty rad. So I'll charge that after this one's done. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and hope you enjoyed this video. If it was informational rad you should check out these products they're pretty awesome i'm going to be using them a lot you'll see them in my videos and um it's just because it's a good company it's really good products like that's the only thing i'm going to be promoting i'm only going to be promoting products that actually work and are useful and everything you know like the coca-cola athletes do you really think they're drinking coca-cola every day <laughs> really like yeah yeah no they're not so I'm only going to be rolling out awesome products that I believe in, that I'm using myself. And yeah, if there's anything you can trust, you can trust that, right? So hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to plug that in after just to see time-wise how long it takes to charge it. That's almost fully charged anyways, which is rad. Uh, but this one, I want to see how long it takes to charge this. Right now we are at, um, yeah, it still has a little ways to go. But cool sweet guys thanks for tuning in as always always be ready always have the right gear always have the gear that can help you have an awesome time exploring have fun but also preparedness wise like be ready have peace of mind it's awesome it's an awesome way to live i say awesome a lot <laughs> oh man be be able to laugh at yourself it's a really good skill to laugh at yourself and to not be weird like i'm all about one take filming like why edit all of the crap just try to be precise and to the point and keep moving forward. So always with gratitude. Thanks, you guys. You freaking rock.
Hey guys, so I did read through the booklet just to give you guys some very specific information, guys and gals. So, this little battery pack, the Guide 12, that comes with the Nomad 5 panel, this takes four to eight hours to charge, depending on how much sun exposure the panel has. So four to eight hours to charge. What's cool is this does have a little flashlight, um, battery reading display, input, output, USB, USB-C. So really awesome. This is not waterproof. So you can pull out the batteries. You, if you purchase more batteries, you can charge up batteries, have as many little batteries on hand as you want. Very cool. Has a little metal tether there. Very cool setup. So that comes with this, this package. It's under a hundred bucks. It's all you need for just basics. If you're a nomad, kind of like me. Uh, so this one, the Goal Zero Venture 35, this takes 12 to 24 hours to charge if you're using a Nomad panel. Obviously the bigger panel setups, it will charge it faster, four to eight hours. Unless you have a really big setup, then it's charging it really fast. This also has the battery display reading as well as a flashlight. You hold the on button to turn on the flashlight. This has an input and output. Here, I'll show you. Input and output USB-C. So whether you're charging it or you're charging something else, you use the same uh, input and output. And then it has also USB, regular USB ports. Really awesome setup. This is waterproof, shockproof. It's a good setup. Like this one's rad. I mean, they're all rad. They're all awesome. But I just wanted to let you know the charge times because that's information that you need if you're getting one of these. And if you're watching this video, you likely don't want to have to read everything. Uh, so I hope I gave you the info you need. This is awesome. Uh, so this takes 12 to 24 hours to charge. This takes four to eight hours to charge. Awesome setup. As always, always with gratitude. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, as you know, those of you that do know me, I'm only going to be doing product reviews and like rolling out different different things on products I truly believe in and products I'm actually using myself. I don't believe in the whole Coca-Cola athlete approach of like, yeah, give me a million dollars and I'll pretend to drink Coca-Cola before my races. That's rubbish. Um, <laughs> that's not very ethical in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Everyone has their opinions, you know? You don't have to believe me. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. If this was an awesome video for you, if it was informational, uh, I have my own style. Everyone has their own style. But if it was good for you, please leave a like, comment. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. That'd be rad. And yeah, always be ready. Always be ready to be prepared for any scenario so you have peace of mind. You soothe those lower chakras, those survival ancestral instincts that we have then once you have those soothed you can prepare to have a freaking amazing life everywhere you go have all the gear that you need so that you can have an awesome awesome lifestyle uh yeah that's about it wrapping this up thanks again have a great day always be ready to respond with ability thanks guys i'll see you on the next video